Hello guys, how are you all? In this channel, guys, we have already discussed a lot of BBC concepts, BBC variables, BBC from the introduction, conditional statements. Now we are going to go on different concept that is loops. So before going that, let me recap you what we did last time, right? We have seen the part 4C of conditional statements where we saw how the select case works. Select case and case expression. This expression is an input for a case to execute a certain case when called, right? So we have also seen the example of friends list case. So A is character which I have used in VB script a lot. So A has, A has, still has, you know, uh, three friends in three countries. So, so he just wants to know, he just wants to type a name of a friend so that he can guess the friend is present in which country. So A has designed as a function, select case, not function exactly, it's a select case, where friend name is he is passing dynamically by using input box. Input box I've already covered one of the video where I discussed input box in depth. If you want always you can search about input box in my videos in the video play playlist. Okay, fine. Then A wanted to search the name of a friend, right? He wants to know the which friend is present in which country. So he has three friends. So in future, he might have 10 friends. So he'll design a program in such a way that based on the name of a friend, they will know which country he belongs. So let us execute this simply and recall what exactly was it yesterday in the last time so please enter a friend name to identify his country so let's just write b you can see here b is in india right so if i if i specify the name of a friend which is not present right so i have double click it so he's they're asking me please enter a friend name to identify his country let us write n, right? So we have already given a KSL statement where it says you have no such friends in the country. So up to here we have covered the entire conditional statements. Now let us move on to loops. Loops are a very important part of the programming, guys. Please concentrate on the video. It's just an introduction from tomorrow's session. From the next session, we'll know in depth about uh, the loops. Loops are very integral part of any program, right? So let us go for an agenda here. So agenda, oh, sorry, uh, it's not a folder. It should be a um, text document. So let me just copy this. Let me just paste it. So let us rename this as an agenda for part eight. So what is the agenda for today? Agenda is, first one, what are loops? Why do we use loops? So let me double click it, expand for you. Why do we use loops? What are the different types of loops? Different types of loops available in the script, right? So what are loops? What do you use loops? What are different types of loops available in VB script? So, loops are nothing but I'll give a simple example here. 
uh, if I want to execute in programming, I just want to execute one five times. So normally what I'll do, I'll, I'll be just writing here, message box one, I'll copy this and I'll paste it, paste it. So in order to, uh, in order to print one five times, I'll do this. So this is not a proper coding standard, guys. So if we just do like this, suppose my program has a, has a requirement or there was a requirement to design a program in such a way that I have to print a particular statement, let's say a thousand times. I can't be just writing message about thousand times, right? So there is a system mechanism for it. So those are loops. So what is exactly a loop? Loop, uh, so let me just write it out to be easier to note it down, right? Loops are the sequence of operation or a statement that are performed over and over in a specified order in a structured order, right? So uh, let's write it. Uh, let's, let us just write the statement, then, ex then I'll explain you in a syntax manner what, is, what exactly loop is. So loop, so loops, are the sequence are the sequence or we can just write loop is a sequence of operations that are performed that are performed repeatedly over some structured or specified perform repeatedly in in some in some specified or structured order So the sequence of operations that what is sequence the sequence right so example let us just say an example so i want a loop is sequence of operations that are performed repeatedly in some specified or structured order right so what is a specified or structured order here so i want to type I want to type my name, not my name, A's name, 10 times, right? So I want, so example, type print A 10 times, right? So this is the requirement, print name A or A 10 times. What will you do? I can't just put message box A, right? Further, let us see a program, even though I have not gone depth in loops, but not exactly I'll be, sorry, okay, didn't open properly. So our requirement is print A 10 times. So, uh, do we have uh, different types of loops? For loop, so for i is equal zero to ten. Message box. A. So I want the a just in one dialog box that to ten times. So I am not printing it here. Let us take a temporary variable. Uh, this is just guys for understanding what are, what what is that definition of the line means, right? So temp temp ampersand a So let me just save this, save as sample example. So 
example loop dot vbs and we do have to change this to all files don't forget that let us save this uh, let us close it let's just double click this and here here we have printed 10 times so um let me open an agenda in one block uh, let me open uh, this program in another block right so this one here and so part eight agenda here so loop is a sequence of operations that are performed repeatedly what is the operation here so printing a 10 times so repeatedly here the repetition continues with the iterator i from 0 to 10 times in some specified structure order this is a structure from this structure we are specifying it to print 10 times so exactly it is uh, printing in 10 times but i've used a temporary variable this this program you will understand in depth in future videos but for the time being just for an example i have used this right so let me just close this and uh, let me close other agenda which are open here okay sorry uh let me just close this close this Fine. Uh, let me just double click it. So, print it and times we have seen that. So, what is what are the use of loops, right? So, why do we use loops and what why do we use loops, right? So, the purpose is nothing but to repeat a same similar kind of code in a number of times. So, its purpose is simple to repeat. So why do you use loops? We use loops. So just we write okay. We use uh, loops to repeat same or similar kind of code. Kind of code. Number of times. N number of times. So number of times. We have seen an example. You have uh, repeated the same code A for ten times, right? Similar, same. That is the same code. Similar kind of code. I'll show different future examples. So, what is the third question? What are different types of loops are in Ruby scripts? Yeah, this is the question here. This is the main question which we have talked about. So we have three kinds. Two kinds of loops. So we have for loop in VB script and for loops and two loops. So for is again divided into simple for loop and For each loop, two loops are again divided into three two categories. Do while and do until. So for loop has a different syntax here. For each has a different syntax. Do well as a different syntax and do until as a different syntax. Um, so let us see simply uh, see the syntax here and then we can start loops in another session, right? So for for in, in the difference between for and do is simple. For we can give an iterator and we'll know the starting point, we'll know the ending point, and how many times it should, it should iterate in do while there is always a condition involved so we'll give a certain condition and do loops so with the specified condition loop will run n number of times but in for 
we will be specifying in iterator to iterate the n number of times. So um, let me just write the for syntax or loop syntax. Oof. For counter variable, this is nothing but a variable here. So followed by colon. So there will be a starting numeric value to ending numeric value. There is a step statement which is not that mandatory, or a default it will be one. So we can execute statements here or print statements execute or print statements so it ends next so for syntax is this it is followed by a counter counter can be anything so let me just write here as a comments section counter is a variable that will iterate in the entire loop. So start and end. Let me write it down, right? So start and end are numeric values, right? Which specifies number values, which specifies the starting and ending of the loop. So let, let us see an example. Already we saw an example. Example will be simple. For I equal so sorry. This is not a column guys, this is equal to. So for I equal to 0 to 10 and step one will give to take one step at a time message box a so this loops this loop will run will type a 10 times right so this is for loop syntax. So let us go to for each loop syntax, right? So for each, we'll use in a collection variable. So uh, in order to iterate in in, in um, object, for example, I have an object. I have I have a folder which has five files. I can't just use for loop, right? for each is used in collections in an object where it can iterate in a sub object sub folder sub level objects right so for each loop we'll see in future video syntax so that was the end of this video if you like my video do uh, like share, like it subscribe it uh, till then bye bye take care